This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Capes and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. Ah, uh, it's good to be back. That's the best intro. I'm sorry. It's the best intro. I love Lil Hellfire. I just heard the best intro I ever heard. Who did it? I did. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ultimate Spider Cast. I am Phil, and as you heard, that humble young woman is. Hey, y'all, it's Lil Hellfire. <laughs> See, we haven't recorded on a Saturday morning in quite a while, sir. I know. We're actually awake. You're actually not at work. Yeah, true, true, true. No, well, actually, I haven't been for the last couple of weeks just because I'm so far. Gotta let the Phil sleep in. Ah, uh, Corona. That for the world. Anyway, yes. Uh, so today we are talking Marvel Team Up 145 and Amazing Spider Man 256 and 257. Uh, so, yes, the first one is uh, Spider Man and Iron Man, Jim Rhodes Iron Man. That's right. <laughs> and did you see who? <laughs> What? Nothing. Just well, well, did you see who wrote this this Marvel team up? Who? Tony Isabella. Oh well, okay. Creator of Doctor. That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean that in a bad way. Just that explains a lot. What the style of writing? Yeah, it, he it's very um he has a very definitive defining kind of style yeah. uh so yes it starts with spider-man swinging through town on the way to the laguardia airport i love new york so why am i going to cleveland this, this cover is just rough though like What's i don't understand it the floating heads your villain and no background it's like it's like a really bad like 60s serial poster from like the movies or something <laughs> i mean it just smacks of me of like i mean maybe... backlash he must have knew people weren't gonna like this issue <laughs> but that cover just smacks me of like hey let's throw something together at the last minute there's no background yeah it's just the two giant heads and aren't the giant heads supposed to go up in the corner box <laughs> oh god and yeah. hey, kid, hey, kids, the villain's going to talk about himself in the third person on the cover in case you don't know who he is. Because nobody did. <clears throat> he's an Iron Man. If you read Iron Man, you know who that is. He's, he's, a, he's a roadie era villain. And that's all that we need to say. <laughs> so, yes, as uh, I swear, most comics we read, uh, yeah, so Spider Man's down on uh, Ohio. <laughs> It should have been. Oh, it could be worse. It could be going to Jersey. Exactly. Or even worse, Long Island. No, no, I <laughs> Don't at me. Don't at me. <gasps> oh, man. Long Island. That's at Will Hellfire. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, yes. So, uh, yes. Yeah, Rhodey out here being a Boy Scout. Like, ugh. Tony mm-hmm. would never. <laughs> okay. Find his business partner out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Because they're, they're both heading for the 26th annual convention of electronics engineers and innovators. Um, I think they meant CES, and that's in Vegas the first week of, well, first or second week of January every year. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, because Rhodey and his uh, buddy are trying to start their own company. As you do, it's the booming whatevers. 
oh, and Pete's looking for a job. He's like, get me away from that bugle. Just don't start your own company, Pete. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes the spider car. Okay? Oh. Fight me. I don't care. Terrible. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, wait, you have a costume that can look like any clothes and that's what you wear? I think this is where Spider-Man 3 got their inspiration. <laughs> oh. Like a twirly on the dance floor, Pete. Look at that little nice bikini model in the back, though. That's fine. Got RoboCop. No. Uh. I think DC would like to have a word with you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so uh, we also see, hey, who's this redhead in the crowd? Mark Scarlatti. That's right. In walks. Get it, Scarlatti. Get it. Yeah, I think it's going to be a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> One town. Uh, I thought I could hook up with uh, Lord Stain International. And yes, Tony Stark's drinking himself to death at this point. Jim Rhodes is depressed, I think is my favorite line in the whole issue. It's... Like, what's new? You're a black man in America. <gasps> in what? The, in the 80s. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and... Oh, he recognizes Whiplash because they have fought before. Or wait. Or like Star I said, a Jim Rose era villain. <laughs> Enough said. Case closed. Pack it up. Go home. Oh, no, wait. I don't think that. Oh, no, no, no. Scar uh, I forget. Oh, yeah. Whiplash or Blacklash remembers Iron Man. No, I don't think Rose <laughs> fought him. Oh, my Lord. What is this? Like, is this a uh, Joel Schumacher movie? I mean,. This Iron Man, I remember this Iron Man suit, but it's like the nipples are too high, bro. Don't tell Jim Rose how high his nipple guard can be. How mm. dare you? <laughs> your nipples are up here. Okay. Right above your shoulder, right below your shoulders. Okay. Well, he did one too many push ups and pushed the pectoral muscles way too high. It's fine. We don't talk about it. He's an Iron Man. Get it? <laughs> Oh, good lord. So, here we see Pete shaking hands, kissing, kissing hands and shaking babies. <laughs> My favorite line, personally. Mm. <sighs> then He's got a poor Aunt May, basically, too. Only she's old and she's his mom. Yep. But she doesn't want to stalk her. His parents don't want to speak to him. Since he's a criminal. Because he's a loser, see? He's all washed up, you understand? Get out of our bakery. <laughs> Dude, if my parents owned the bakery, I'd be in the family business in a thousand pounds. No lie. <laughs> uh, your father, get out. Your father will be back soon. Uh, so they had so any again, just <laughs> as a little hellfire, uh, <laughs> just like drowning their sorrows because the local bar, what is it, Duffy's? Goes <laughs> the most what is he, Irish, <laughs> probably. I was gonna say, you got a problem with that. Uh, oh, or the Girl Scouts after you. I'm like, oh, does he own money for cookies? Is he that big of a loser? No. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, the guy's like, oh, is Iron Man after you or the Girl Scouts? <laughs> you have to eat Girl Scout cookies because your family kicked you out of the family <laughs> business. Hey, man. Girl Scout cookies are the bomb. Uh, Although... Yeah, they had them in the 80s. That's not nothing new. Bad. They've had them forever, right? What, Girl Scout cookies? 
Yeah. I think so. Didn't the cavemen invent them? God knows those Samoas taste like prehistoric dirt. Fight me! The uh. least superior cookie in the whole Girl Scout lineup. Ah! So, yeah, so all, all the local uh, drunks are giving him a hard time in the bar. <laughs> One drunk. Okay, I get it. He's like the town loser, but it's like, you know, he's a super villain. So it's like, why would you draw? draw a super like, villain is stretching it. But look, he's a villain. Yeah, but, super stretching it. Yeah, but I mean, at least, you know, he has weaponry. He can come back and like beat you to death. He might have had to pawn it. That's the whole thing. They don't know. Oh, right? maybe. You're poor. <laughs> <laughs> you washed up. You're nobody. As he dropped, as he gets a drink dropped on his head, you're washed up. Uh, and then on, and then this is if his troubles weren't getting any worse. On page ten, his hair changes color. <laughs> oh, ouch! <laughs> oh Lord. Now let's That's... talk business. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord yes the the magia <laughs> because i guess for i guess for a couple decades marvel was afraid of offending the mob so there is the magia <laughs> yeah <Yikes. laughs> well thank goodness their power waned looking at you john Gotti. did oh, stan lee make a deal with somebody they could get marvel so successful <laughs> No, Stan sold his soul. We all know it. We all know it. So he's not in heaven, guys. I'm sorry. He's with Mephisto. Excelsior. At Will's Hellfire. <laughs> oh, true believers don't at me. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> so, yeah, Scarlotti comes back as Whiplash and trashes the bar. God, that costume is terrible. So, like, basically... He's got well, a man purse. Like, come on, bro. Come hey. on, it's the 80s. We weren't ready for that, okay? Hey, the we Green We weren't Goblin. ready for a European male carry-all, okay? <laughs> hey, the Green Goblin was the original man bag villain. Come on. But he could get away with it. He was rich. <laughs> he was a fancy man. Exactly. Why do you think we don't ever talk about Harry's mom? Huh? Corn, cornrows and man bags. I'm not a fancy man. Uh, so yeah, we're like a, like almost halfway through this issue, and it's like, you know, Spider Man and Iron Man have really done nothing except stand around. <laughs> this should have been Blacklash team up with like Spider Man. <laughs> Backlash in the bar. <laughs> So it's not like a joke. Yeah! Blacklash walks into a bar. Dude, I'm recording. Do you mind? <laughs> Get the ball. Fucking working today. Oh boy. So, yes. So Blacklash goes back to the convention and checking out a. Checking out a ho a waitress or whatever. Uh, Pete's taking photos because he's supposed to be there taking pictures. You know, king of the selfies is supposed to be taking pictures of someone other than himself. You know, because I don't know. Meanwhile, James, you know, he's supposed to be there doing a job, but he was trying to make contacts. Mm, Pete, 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 trying to. Pete always trying to double cross, uh, <laughs> trying to get a good deal. See, mm. so got Blacklash that walks in full costume, doesn't expect any trouble until the security guards try to stop him. And is this the name of a sitcom? <laughs> Pete's like Blacklash in Cleveland. Get it, Cleveland. Not hot in Cleveland, black lash in Cleveland. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. 
Backlash is knocking out the guards. Uh, we get... Oh, Iron Man. Well, Jim Red's Iron Man shows up. Uh, Pete's like, oh, good. Don't give me time to change. I'm like, how long? Thinking, how, how long do you need to change? You know, that suit changes itself. Um... Mm. So Iron Man tries to punch him out, and Black Glass is thinking he's forgotten that my costume can absorb the force of his punch. Did he slip that badly? Maybe I can nail him. You know, not knowing it's a new Iron Man. Which I don't know. Why does everyone always think it's the same Iron Man? It's like couldn't Tony Stark change Iron Man's every so often? The suit has all the power. Mm. <clears throat> but he does mess up his uh. Let's mess up Black Lash's uh, cyber, what is that, cybernetic whip or whatever. Mm. But it has a concussive charge. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, Lord. But then his partner, was it Morley Irwin, calls him on his... Uh, Suits radio. Jim, Jim, I noticed something critical. Mm. And then we have, we have a big old panel of Spider Man suit changing. Which, what the heck? We didn't even get an editor's note. How am I supposed to know it came from the Marvel Superhero Secret Wars? You had your chance. If you don't know by now, you're a lost cause. I guess. Hmm. <laughs> What? Uh, and Spider Man tries to web him, and tch. oh, nice try, Junior. But I can make my, I can order my whip to spin so fast. What's he doing? <laughs> this is fast food. I can order my whip. It's like, come on. All you say is, I can use my whip to spin it really fast. Hmm. <laughs> So these hurlings trying to throw the webbing back at Spider-Man. Uh, come on, Iron Man. Come on, Spider-Man. This is embarrassing. Black Lash is like pulling you both off. Uh, oh, hits Spider-Man with some bolos that uh, it's a heavy gravity field. Hey, hey, what is this phrase? Judging from the look. The, that horrified look on your puss as you stare at your poor little thing. What is going on here? Uh, uh, Edgy. But then, oh, yeah, Rhodey blasts him with his unibeam on his chest because I believe this is since Secret Wars. Again, Secret Wars. He's lost the repulsors in his gloves. So You know why, right? Because he's a black man. <laughs> no, because they weren't working on Battle World, and then he got rid of them in upstate New York, and then years later they came back at Project Pegasus during Quasar. And again, the tech had like become like a monster. So again, another piece of a superhero suit that like gained sentience. As you do, man. As you do. You can't create so much artificial intelligence and expect it not to rise up against you. I swear that secret, first Secret Wars was like Marvel's, like you know, uh, Marvel, you know, um, all the backstory, it's all the evil stuff. Yeah, Mar Marvel's top model or something. So <laughs> everybody's wardrobe got affected. Remember, even the Fantastic Four's costumes didn't they change color? Oh yeah. Oh, boy. It was a thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is just embarrassing. Like, Black Lash is holding them both off. That's this, really embarrassing. This loser, he grew up in a bakery. He's a doughboy. Get it? Oh. <laughs> Hit the Matt Kona button. <laughs> I would if I wasn't having technical difficulties on that end. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 155. Uh, 
Jim, I've spotted something. Those gauntlets are giving off sparks. <laughs> His gloves be appear to be malfunctioning. So one unit beam blast. <laughs> My gauntlets, they've been ruined by his laser. <laughs> laser! <laughs> Was it on top of a shark head? It might have been on top of a shark head. Maybe. My lord, and then Spider-Man rips his costume off him. It's happening again. I'm a zero. I'm a nothing. I'm glad you figured that one out. On your own. Uh, and the last two pages are just Scarlatti in the Cleveland Justice Center. Mm. Was it his lawyer wants to get him off, you know, by declaring basically declaring him uh, legally insane? Look at that costume, is your honor? He has to be insane. What? What? What, 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 uh, sane man would wear a costume like that? Oh, uh, call my mom. Tell her I'm finally getting it together. Hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know if he's going insane because he's just like, oh yeah, call my mom. She'll be so proud of me. Uh, okay. Somebody's cuckoo for cuckoo. Oh, weird. <laughs> Call my mom. Call my mom. She'll love me. She'll love me. He's what the kids would call a oh, mama's boy. Ah! No, I think he's uh, he's cracked up. He's insane. Nailed it. That's usually genetic. Just saying. Oh. What in the comic books? It is usually genetic. I was waiting on his father to be like some big time super villain secretly the whole time. I know. It's <laughs> funny. It's like you never even see the father. <gasps> Maybe it's like a psycho thing. Maybe there is no father. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you mean he's Fry? Philip J. Fry? He's his own grandfather? No. <laughs> uh. uh. All right, so let's get to uh, these amazing Spider-Man issues. Um, superior by far. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. By Tom DeFoco and uh, penciler Ron Friends. Ron Friends, you say? That name sounds familiar. Mm, we might have a... We, might have a... we don't have a drop. <laughs> oh, no, we could do those drops. No, that's fine. I have those drops on somewhere. This is Comics Illustrator Ron Friends, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics Podcast. That Ron Friends. So shameless. So shameless. Hey. We're not above name dropping. Totally not. I think that's our whole shtick at this point. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that on the floor? Uh, did I drop a name out of my pocket? What? <laughs> Uh, but yes, Amazing Spider-Man 256, the first appearance of Puma. Puma. That's even Puma. The, that's even the name of the issue, introducing Puma. And he's not like for them to be introducing Puma. He's not really that big of a deal. <gasps> like, did you really want this to be a bigger deal than what happened, or? Well, it is a. Was the response not good, or what? It is a two-parter. I mean, he does come back. And then but, never. <laughs> uh, uh, but then we see Spider-Man and Black Cat busting heads in a warehouse. Busting These heads, are, taking names. These guys are receiving stolen goods. See. Uh, nice uh, Black Cat looking down perspective. Is that your thing? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the raptor scene, she's going to let all the, the hoo-ha die down. Well, she's taking the pictures because, you know, Pete needs to make... She's better at it. Well, yeah, Pete needs to make money and, you know, she's better at taking the pictures. So, once she gets bored, she leaps down. I love her. Hope you don't mind the helping hand and foot. 
um, for anything. Yeah. <laughs> what you guys do behind closed doors is your own business. <laughs> But love, yeah, she starts beating on guys and the the one is this broad for real. She actually got on yes, very. instead of fighting for She's got news for you, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, I say. But, it's like, wait a minute, did we go back in time? He tries to hit her from behind. He tries to hit her from behind with the steel bar, but the bad luck powers make I mean, wouldn't you? Hey <laughs> oh Lord. Nobody tell Rob. What's bugging you, Spidey? <laughs> oh my lord, but yeah, the first guy tries to hit it with a steel bar. He hits himself and gets hit over the head with it, and then we see the other guy pull out a gun and try to shoot her, but it explodes in his hand. <laughs> Yikes. Talk about your backfires. <laughs> That's true. The big bazooka. <laughs> uh, I've got news for you, sweetheart. That's the least of your problem. And then she punches him in the face, too. So, then Sp- so um, there's something going on with her, obviously. Yeah. Spider-Man webs all the goons up in a big pile. But then once they leave, Spider-Man's like, you know, I think you take too many chances. It's different. I have real superpowers. Ouch. You're only a, Ouch. You're only a highly trained Little did he know. <laughs> you're only a highly trained gymnast. <laughs> mm, lighten up, lover. I want to party. Wow. Who is this? Totally, totally part of the time. Who is this? Little help <laughs> Mm, but he's like, I have to leave. I have to develop these pictures. <gasps> Lilith, where did he pull that camera from? Out of the pouch. Out of the pouch. <laughs> Boing. Boing. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, we get a nice little yellow box. Oh, yes. Triggered by Spider-Man's thoughts, his costume, an amazing souvenir from a distant planet, immediately opens up. There you go. They don't tell us. They don't tell us the issues. I know. Because you should have been paying attention those 20 issues before this. Maybe, maybe there was, like, fan backlash. It's like, we know. Maybe they got a bunch. Of- no, I'm telling you, Danny's on vacation. That's what happened. Oh, yeah. Cause it, the, oh, yeah. Because Danny. Uh... Oh, no. It's the, then- oh, no. Danny's the editor, but Shooter's the editor-in-chief. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, but Danny's the one that usually does these ones. That's why I always say thank you, Danny. Yeah. So, yeah, he's on vacation. That's what happened. <laughs> so, Pete goes home, develops the pictures, thinks how much better Black Cat is at taking pictures than him. You think the suit would help him so he wouldn't need nobody, so he could be an independent spider making money? <laughs> no, but how? I mean, that's the whole problem is when he, it's Tim trying to do it, he just webs the camera to the wall and hopes he's in front of it at a good point. You know, it's just, since it can store itself in his pouch, you know, maybe it can learn to take pictures. <laughs> Boing! Uh, so, yes. So then I guess he's putting stuff away in the closet. Oh, hey. I'm so tired lately. Hey, what's this in the corner? My old costume. My old spare red and blue costume. Uh. Bane suddenly comes out of nowhere. It's been a while. What? Bane's place in the distance. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I still have trouble believing that this new costume came from a world at the other end of the universe. There's your Marvel Superhero Secret Wars limited series for details. Okay. Take a drink, a little help fire. Of the future. So he's hanging up the suit. Shouldn't you have, shouldn't you keep that thing at least in a box? I mean, again, Parker Lux, someone breaks in, they find that Spider Man suit. He just has it hanging on, you know, in the closet. He is an idiot. 
again, just a box. At least keep it out of view. Something. Don't tell Peter what to do. He's a strong, independent college dropout that don't need nobody telling him what to do. That's why him and it. Don't tell Peter. (laughs) Uh, So, yes. Uh, But then, of course, he goes to sleep. And what happens? The costume comes after him. And it scares two homeless guys. He has a nervous day. He's grown wiser. I don't think so, Pete. I don't think so. He actually well, got a little more. Is that, is that just wiser than he was? I think he got a little more stupid. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, but anyway, yeah. The suit takes him out, scares two homeless guys. Oh, but guess what? Evil. Uh, but oh, but no. The next morning, yeah, the Rose gets the news that uh, Spider Man raided his main warehouse. Spider Man. The Rose. <laughs> but it's like Spider Man and no one else raided the warehouse last night. <laughs> Get it? No one else. Just Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> Is a weed. He needs to be pulled out swiftly from my garden, please. Because that's all I do when you gardening roses. Get it? Uh huh. But I just love this guy. He's like Spider Man, and no one else, you know, <laughs> raided the warehouse last night. Uh, but then we switched to Partsdale, New Mexico. Fireheart Enterprises. Oh, but city, see. What? In a small but growing city, see. That's right. Uh, but oh, look, Thomas Fireheart missing his uh, meeting with a congressman. Oh, they're just exchange, exchanging money. No worries. <laughs> but then his secretary gets a call on his private line. This is the rose. I need you. Uh, okay. Um. 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 Anything. And then somebody's balling in a helicopter. Be careful of those winds, honey. Well, no. Tom, Thomas Fireheart missed uh, missed the meeting with the congressman because he's out hunting his puma. Yeah. Uh, because uh. Oh Lord! What is that? Uh, it's hunting some bobcats or something? Because what? The... <laughs> they attacked the reservation or something? <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't have reser- entered the reservation and slaughtered those animals. They are animals, bro. Who, who did he think he is? Cat woman? Um, he was the original cat man. Marvel's cat man. Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, he can transform at will. Well, that's neat. Mm-hmm. Not his clothes. He's not a fancy man, but yeah. He, uh... Everybody can't be Pete. It's fine. That's true. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Stupid app. <laughs> <laughs> Never update your apps, people. Basically, <clears throat> all Windows people know that. All Windows people know that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, oh, Fireheart sees he has a message, so puts on his civilized business suit and gets in the helicopter. But back in New York City, mm, you're Rob- Jay Robertson, editor in chief, see? Pete's getting his daily chew out. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he's like, oh, our readers are getting sick of Spider-Man fighting thugs in warehouses. The only thing that makes these pictures worth my time is the new costume. Don't think you can coast on public's interest in this costume forever. Yeah, people are going to be... Yeah, yeah, people aren't going to be interested in this costume for decades to come. Like, whatever happened to Black- Spider-Man's black suit? Like, I'd love to just see that, like, referenced in one comic book. 
<laughs> like, remember when he was wearing the black suit? He was way cooler back then. Do you think people were like have put two and two together, like in the Marvel universe? It's like, hey, Spider Man used to wear a suit like that. No, Venom wears a suit like that. Hmm. Nah. That's just like on Arrow. Everybody thinking the Hood, the Arrow, Green Arrow were different people. <laughs> like, no, yeah. no. Roy could have never been Green Arrow. It's fine. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so, yeah, so Pete's all tired for some reason. So tired. Um, too tired to hook up with Betty. No, well, he's got a girlfriend. Well, Spider-Man has a, has a girlfriend. Oh, uh, is, is that how it is? <laughs> he does not have a girlfriend. Is that how it is, love? Okay. <laughs> that, hey, that's Felicia's one. <laughs> not mine. Look. They do it with the clothes on, homie. <laughs> like, that's all I'm saying. Okay, Lilith is one of those people. Oh, if it's not in the same state, it doesn't count. Hey, if you're wearing a, <laughs> a costume, it doesn't count. Uh, I think Batman agrees too. I don't <laughs> yes. Oh, look, Lil's favorite subject. Are things better with you and your aunt? No. She hasn't spoken to me since I told her I, I dropped out of grad school in Amazing 253. Oh, there you are, Danny. Uh, brighten up, Tiger. It's party time. Mary Jane and some fishnets. <laughs> Seriously, maybe. Was this 80s fashion? A green shirt, the mini skirt, fishnet. I don't think comic books were ever concerned with fashion. <laughs> what you don't think you don't think men you don't think men were up on women's fashion? Not even a little bit. If it wasn't skimpy lingerie, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, and she's like, oh, her and Betty are. <laughs> Going out for a ladies' night. You want to join us? No, I got other plans. There goes one very troubled young man. So I noticed. Any idea what's eating him? I have a few thoughts. Really? I like to hear that. Why? Does Mary Jane suspect something? Hmm? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> not this era of Mary Jane. No, sir. Uh. Oh, but meanwhile, Thomas Fireheart, uh, it was private jet lands at LaGuardia. Again, LaGuardia. Mm. So they're having lunch. And all of a sudden, you see a battle van in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, the Rose basically tells Thomas Fireheart, I want to hire you to, you know, Take care of my problems, see. My spider problems, see. Yeah. Can you get me anything this Spider-Man has recently handled? Um. Uh, yes, we're having I'm the black cat. We're having the black cat. <laughs> we're having the black cat shipped here now. Hey. -o. Uh, Call me if you need anything. Thank you. I won't. Now that's the kind of can-do attitude all employees should have. Damn it. That's a little hellfire. <laughs> leave me, leave me. I got it. Uh, oh Lord, eighties heroes and villains. Everyone had a costume in their briefcase. Halliburton, man, Halliburton. If your briefcase wasn't a Halliburton. You weren't anything. <laughs> so yeah, the roses men are like, "What did Rose say his name was?" He didn't. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> creepy guy he's been in there hey he's gone and he left his clothes behind run around naked but the window's open wait the nearest rooftop's gotta be 40 feet away what? he got it like that don't be hating no uh, see I'm like I'm always surprised when people are like surprised in the Marvel Universe by stuff like this it's like well it's kind of like you hear about it every day, but you don't actually see it firsthand, you know? I guess. Uh, so, yeah, Puma's sniffing that piece of wood from the one of the packing crates from the beginning of the issue. 
And then he pulls a Daredevil and sits down and tries to uh, sniff out Spider-Man. Better bathe more Pete. Well, it works. Uh. He's just, poor Pete's just yawning all over the place. His life's a mess. Uh, but yes. Relatable, to be honest. Hashtag relatable. Am I right, millennials? <clears throat> For more than an hour, he sits rigid as stone. Hey, keep that private business to yourself, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I understood that reference. <laughs> oh! And then I've done it. I found him. And Puma leaps off. Now to pounce. <laughs> Whoa. There's my drop. <laughs> It's got a hair trigger. Uh, <laughs> Pete's swinging around, of course. Why can't I manage? To try, why can't I have so much trouble managing my own life? <laughs> why can't I patch you up suck. things? <laughs> That's why, why. Can't, why can't I patch up things between me and Aunt May? Oh, look, there's the floating. You're head. Stubborn. There's a floating head of guilt right there. <laughs> yeah, that that was a choice. That was a stylistic choice that did not work. But we'll move on. So Puma sees Spider-Man swinging. Oh, how disappointing. He doesn't look that impressive. So he rips again with metal pipes in this issue. He rips one out of a roof and roof and whips it at Spider-Man. And again, Pete and now Pete's all down about himself for not uh, finding the battle van. <laughs> Everything is my fault. But then the spider sense goes off. He's just barely able to manage the dodge that steel pipe hey so he's falling he's able to flip the wall ah my arm it feels like I wrenched it loose from its socket the pain is incredible so he's laying on the roof and he's like ah never knew it could hurt so much I just want to roll no ball in it, but I can't uh, <laughs> Can't shove the one back in. The pain's too great. If I die, who? Oh, Aunt I'm May. fire! <laughs> uh, Aunt May will never know how much I still love her. But he finally manages to get the arm in, but he passes out from the pain, which is when the puma shows up. Ah, feel the pain beneath the claws of puma! The fury of the puma. Black Cat and Rage, next issue. A startling revelation from Mary Jane Watson. Hmm... Which which will change Peter Parker's life forever, you know, until Mephisto gets mm. involved. But I was say, yeah, well, not forever, but comic book forever, sure. A couple decades. <laughs> so yes, that's where two fifty seven picks up. Beware the claws of Puma. Puma. It's not a Puma. It looks like he's holding them by the top, of, like at the top of his mask. But I'm like, wouldn't the costume play that? Or wouldn't the costume fight? Um, the, the, the costume's been gallivanting at night. Maybe it's the one that's tired and not Pete. You ever true. think of that? True, true. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Corona. I want to get the end of that uh, Spider-Man yeah. alien reality. Come on. Please. I need, I need, I need more Daredevil. I need more uh, Spider-Man alien reality. I need more amazing Spider-Man. DC's like, come on, man. Come on over to us. We, we're ignoring Diamond entirely. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. If Marvel's not making the jump, everybody else is going to be afraid to make the jump with just DC. Because DC is notoriously hard to work with. I get it. <laughs> oh, my. Especially now with the whole AT&T thing. Um, like, yeah, all the leadership is really, like, kind of scattered. So I, I get it. If Marvel would have done it, I think it would have been a, it would have been this really big thing that needs to happen in comics. But I but, get it. This replicates mm -hmm. whenever we get back to actually talking stuff. Oh yeah, next week we talk X Men. Live action, and Phil's gonna be a stickler and someone in comic books. Well, I was gonna say I want to so. do comics too, but do we want to talk some uh, '90s animated series too. Of course, okay. of course. You can't talk X Men without '90s. That's right. Gobble gobble. 
Although the mid two thousands one was not that bad, to be honest. Oh, uh, was that the one with Spike? Okay, okay. Was that Wolverine in the X Men, or what was the other one? Uh... I want to say it was like Generation. It was some weird one. There's been a few. Yeah. Uh, but yes. Puma's sitting here thinking Spider Man's not a worthy foe. Uh, Spider Man is a weakling and a, a weakling, a coward. He deserves to die until Black Cat comes jumping in. <laughs> hmm. You're good, Mr. Fast, Agile, too. Do not flatter yourself, woman. A child could have dodged that, that clumsy attack. <laughs> woman? Wow. Woman. Woman. No, but no. Look, Puma's staring at her, and he's like, "Wait a minute!" He can tell by her aura that there's something about her. X Men Evolution. That's the cartoon. There you go. That's really good. So yeah, Puma tries to attack Black Cat again and overshoots his target. <laughs> Nothing like that has ever happened to me. My sense of balance is perfect. Could cat. Well... Could the cat's mystery aura have caused it? And that's when he falls. No, no. That's when he falls through the roof. <laughs> Thank you for announcing it, by the way. What? He announces it. The roof is giving way beneath me now. Well, he thinks it. <laughs> Wait, keep it to yourself. Only. That's a thought bubble, not a word bubble. I know. I'm just saying, keep it to yourself. Like we see you're falling. We get it. Ta ta fur face. <laughs> you know what? That's my new. That's my new go to. Mm -hmm. uh, the Spider Man wakes up. Oh, black cat! Don't worry about that clown who attacked you, hun. I just took care of him. Uh, he gives himself a web swing. Get it? <clears throat> web swinger. Oh, the get slingers it? get it. Nailed it. <laughs> And so, yeah, Spider Man tries to swing home with only one good arm. This costume's trash now. It won't protect him from getting his arm ripped out. What good is I it? I know. Shouldn't it support that arm? Come on. Uh, so, yeah. Then Puma is uh, leaving the apartment of the people he just crashed into. Uh, this is why you can't live in New York in the Marvel Universe. Look at all that damage that insurance is totally not going to cover. A giant hole in the ceiling. The landlord's going to be pissed. I know, the giant hole in the ceiling, yeah. That's coming out of your deposit. <laughs> but Puma's thinking, those fools can't escape him now that he's gotten Spider-Man's scent. Oh, I'd better approach the black cat with a bit more caution, though. She's obviously the more dangerous of the two. He's not wrong. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she'll kill a guy in two seconds. <laughs> uh, so Puma tracks them back to the apartment. Like, hey, my spider sense is tingling, and he looks like, my sense danger, but I don't see anything. Mm, no need to continue this battle now. I'm only being paid to kill Spider-Man. Why should I kill the cat for free? I'll return later. Let's drag, let's drag this issue out some. Face down. Uh, so yes, so Pete sits down in a chair and he's having trouble getting the costume to leave him. Uh, Pete's like, I never, I don't understand. It never gave me a problem before. What could be wrong with it? The cat? Are you kidding? Look at it stinking across the floor like that. What could be right with it? Mm, I've been meaning to see the you've been meaning to see Reed Richards about that. Maybe you better make some time. <laughs> uh, the black hats thinking to herself, you know, what a dump Spider Man lives in. <laughs> I know. I was like, well, you could give him some money, Felicia. Yeah, Sugar Mama, come on. Uh. Oh. Oh. Well, look at look at what we have here in Midtown Manhattan skyscraper. The Kingpin. Hey, he's getting his Eddie Brock on. I know. He's like This is like the first time we haven't seen him staring out a window in a while. <laughs> oh look, we got uh 
we actually get a Daredevil uh, editor's note about the gang war with the forces of Mika Sin, who was basically like a poor man's craven. Yeah. Although craven is pretty much poor man's craven. Fight me. So that's that should tell you something about this guy. <laughs> uh, oh, and one last thing is the kingpin of crime, the ruler of the underworld. You must be a way to aware that someone in your employ has hired a professional assassin to eliminate Spider Man. I was like, what? I believe this hit was commissioned by the Rose. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Huh, arrange a meeting between me and the Rose. It's time he learned the facts of life and death. <laughs> but, I just, but I just love the Kingpin. I have my own plans for Spider the, for the Web Slinger. <laughs> in the editor's note, if you'll and you'll know what he plans to, if you uh, read our companion magazine, The Spectacular Spider Man. Oh, they didn't even go Peter Parker and the Spectacular Spider Man. Even at this point, they're like, oh, that title's so long. Yeah, it's like we know who it is. Ding dong. Because in a lot of editors those they would just put, oh, see, uh, you know, issue whatever of PPSSM. Yeah, it's not a good way to start PP. You know, you don't want to start anything with PP. Yeah. Don't want anybody's initials to be that or anything, I know. Nailed it. Mm, so then the, we see Thomas Fireheart is taking a shower. Calls back to the office. Good news, the congressman phoned earlier to say that the city council approved three of the four sites for the new shopping malls you plan to build. Uh, killing guys and building shopping malls. Welcome to the 80s. Hey, shopping malls. Definitely the 80s. Yeah, fucking like that's confusing. <laughs> uh, Kids today can't relate, but I can relate. I know, man. I spent my teenage years at the mall. Arcades, comic book shops, you know, yep. food court. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then Fireheart calls the Rose, tells him, oh, you're going to complete your mission tonight. Excellent. Excellent. We need the Mr. Burns drop, bro. True. Oh, but then uh, the Arranger shows up. So, oh, and then Fireheart's going to change into his spare costume and transform because the other one needs a good dry cleaning. I touched that poor person, Spider Man. What? It's just good hygiene. Finally, somebody's speaking of the hygiene. I, I know, but he's probably just like, oh, I touched that poor person, Spider Man. I need to dry clean my suit. <laughs> he's not wrong. Pete lives, even Felicia thinks Pete lives a, a filthy little lifestyle. <laughs> so yeah, she can barely stand to look at him now that his mask is off. <laughs> so true. Because they're talking about Puma and she's, because he didn't get a good look and uh, Felicia's telling him about Puma. Like the running shoe? Sheesh. Uh, and Felicia's like, don't worry. You won't have to worry about him. I clobbered him. And he's like, you never did tell me how you managed to do that. And she's like, we'll discuss that later. Ashley's like leaping out of the window. <laughs> oh, so bye, Felicia. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she leaves the apartment and Puma's watching. At last, Spider Man is alone, unprotected. But oh, look. <sighs> Another woman, man. There's just women coming in and out of that apartment because Mary Jane shows up. Mrs. Muggins! Oh, Mrs. Muggins! I'm telling! Wait a minute. Look at what Mary Jane is wearing and tell me if you notice anything. I think she's wearing the same exact clothes as last issue except for the fishnets. No, nope, no. Nope, nope. And the boots are different. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> They were partying hard, bro. I guess. Uh, so she's like, "Oh, she even brought one." He's Brandon playing racquetball. Oh, Pete, you don't even own a racket, a racquetball. Uh, Boy, that, that's the weirdest looking sling I've ever seen. That's what she should have said. It's designer, okay. <laughs> 
They all know he don't have no money. He stole it. But she wants to. But she wants to celebrate. She managed to find some steady modeling work. Face it, Tiger. You're about to hit the jackpot. Hell. <laughs> What's happening? While the cat's away, the spider will play. Apparently. Oh, yeah, remember what? And the redhead gets her way. Yes, I agree. agree. Remember remember what Lilith said, you know, if he's Pete, it's it's one woman. If it's Spider-Man, it's the other one. (laughs) But, yeah, his spider- They could have gone on like that forever. Just saying. Mm Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Pete, uh, Pete's spider sense is going off, and he's like, I gotta get Mary Jane out of here, and she doesn't want to leave, so he just basically pushes her out the door right as Puma crashes in. And the suit jumps across the room and put, puts itself on. And somebody saw it. I know. Puma's like, incredible, that thing leaped across the room and moved itself around Spider-Man's body. Uh, so yeah, they're fighting in the apartment. Spider-Man decks him with his good hand. Uh, Puma rips the back of the suit. Your costume, it can't be true. Does my costume spook you? It should. It came from an alien world in a distant galaxy. Because, hey, let's tell my enemies exactly what I have in my arsenal. I mean, you can't really prepare for arsenal, uh, alien arsenal, so, you know. I know, but it's just, he's, he's bragging. Oh, like my suit? It's alien. You can't afford it. You can't handle this. Dude. <laughs> so yeah, Mary Jane's pounding on the door. Pete and Puma are fighting, and uh, Pete's thinking, "I can, I can't beat him in these close quarters." You know. Plus, it's not hey, <laughs> you know that little part that says bonsai? I was just like, I was when I was rereading it, I was like, "Bazinga!" No, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> So yeah, Pete crashes him out the window right as Mary Jane crashes in. She's like, I'm here, Peter. I'm... He's gone. Oh, Lord. Uh, she's on all fours looking a little rough for wear. Hello. <laughs> that that pedal could have um, used a little sprucing up. That's all I'm saying. Man, man, they party hard down on Chelsea Street. Apparently. <laughs> Now, she was in the West Village party, and that, that's what she was doing. <laughs> and then, and mean- right, New Yorkers. <laughs> and then, meanwhile, the kingpin calls the Rosen for a meeting. That looks the perspective on this looks very odd, but I'm gonna let it go. Well, what you- <laughs> like, like who invites someone into a steam room, and why is this lame tar? Like, what, what? Why are you wearing a suit in the sauna? Why? Because the kingpin wants to humiliate him. That's why. Kingpin sitting there in his di- diaper, which looking like a big old baby Buddha. Like, come on. And again, the thing gets weirder when when you find out that the rose is his son. Exactly. Spoilers. Makes it makes this scene even weirder. Uh, so back to the fight. Pete's asking Puma, "This is insane. I've never met you before today. Why are we fighting?" Because it's a job, son. I'm trying to get paid. Uh, I got shopping malls to pay for. Exactly. Development, uh, Real estate development is super expensive, especially in New York. <laughs> or New Mexico. <laughs> uh, maybe not so much in Mexico. <laughs> oh, that's true. You just open up. You just smuggle in drugs through your chicken restaurant. I actually understood that reference finally. <laughs> Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Thank you. And the chicken wasn't even that good. It's all good, man. <laughs> Dumbest origin for a name ever. Uh, so, so yeah, they're fighting on a rooftop. Uh, the web, the web sling evaporates finally. Wait a minute. So this, so this webbing evaporates after an hour or two. I know his his. His chemical one va- evaporated after an hour, but hmm. So we'll just pretend. I was gonna say, was the suit trying to mimic webbing? So it's like, yeah, I can make it evaporate whatever, it wa- whenever I want. But you know, this kid. No big deal. This kid. I'm kind of a big. I'm a kind of a big deal, but no big deal. This is being a show off. Uh, 
Uh, so they're fighting, fighting. They crash into some executive athletic club. Uh, Will with more dumbbells. I know. Man, this is a bro. Poor guy trying to get his workout on just live a healthy life. And there comes all sorts of trouble. This is such a Brock issue. And it's like, even before Brock. Oh, it's <laughs> I think we cracked the code. It's not Brock that loved the workout. It's the suit. It was the suit. Yeah. yeah. The suit loved it. Nailed it. Every time. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Spider-Man webs the big dumbbell. Hey, he, he says this workout has barely begun. I'm just like, homoerotic subtext? Whoa. <laughs> but, uh. By him, but yeah, come on, Pumi. Uh, no, no, that's not a nickname. Come on, his name is Puma, he does not need to shorten it. Okay, oh, big clue here because Puma, yeah, is trying to pick up the dumbbell that's been webbed to the ceiling. Can my heightened what my heightened senses tell me be true? I always assumed Spider Man's webbing was artificial, but it's organic. I love Spider Man, organic. Are you sure? Stop trying to play me for a fool. You must know what your webbing's composed of. Uh, That's a ton and a half. A universal gym bearing down on me. Gotta leap aside. And it goes, okay. And it goes Thanks out, for that thought bubble. And it goes out the window. <laughs> uh, yeah. Poor New York. Just trying to have a good day. Yeah. So Spider-Man jumps out, sticks to the wall, and webs it, catches it, but <laughs> the wall breaks. <laughs> But Spider-Man was able to divert the gym just enough so it hits the sidewalk and no one else. This is just pure and utter chaos, man. Yes, and then Spider-Man catches a bus. You... Are you going to pay your fare, homie? Or are you going to pay your fare? Uh, and Puma. I could crack him now, but that would be unworthy of me. Mm, I'll wait for him to recover, regain full power, and only then will the Puma return. And then he leaps off. They look like a sugar glider or something, just leaping off like that. <laughs> Puma's getting away. Swell, I'm in no shape to chase after him. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, the Rose t sends his men to tell Puma the contract's off. And they're like, oh, he looked relieved. And <laughs> oh, good. All's well that ends well. Oh, wait. Who's that behind me? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Hob. He's alive, people. We haven't seen him except in shadows since Amazing 251. But he's back. She was very busy. Back at, full power, <laughs> back at full power and armed with his battle van and everything. He's back. Or is he? Uh -huh. So then Pete, Pete takes a cab home because he's so wrecked. Back. He's like, hmm, I hear noise in my apartment. What could it be? And he sees his Mary Jane. Oh my gosh, I'd forgotten all about her. You can't forget about Mary Jane. Exactly. And then he's like, look at that mini skirt. Right. Uh, he's, like, he's trying to come up with mini skirt and thigh highs. Oh yeah. He's trying to come up with a uh, like stupid excuse. And she's like, he's like, look, bro, I know the truth. Enough, the enough of your shenanigans. <laughs> I've known your secret for years. Up until today, I always thought I could cope with it. If I ever had ex ex to experience it firsthand, but I can't. I can't. I just can't cope with the fact that Peter Parker is secretly Spider-Man. Look at his face. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, yes. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned, people, because next to uh, this episode and the next one, uh, yes, I will get into it with my <laughs> friends about the whole Mary Jane thing, so... Some interesting things here. Uh, yeah. Yes. And just just uh just a little tease for you. Yeah, him and Mr. DeFelco. The way Pete and Mary Jane's relationship went wasn't originally what they planned, so <laughs> you gotta listen in. All right, so anything else, Little Hellfire? Just a good story. It was a little busy, a little too much going on. I feel like that Hobgoblin thing was totally rushed, but 
Other than that, a pretty good issue. The Hobgoblin was in one panel. Come on. I know, but it's just like, call off the contract. Hobgoblin's here now, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Daddy's home. Exactly. All right, everyone. So, next time we're covering, I believe it's the next issue of Marvel Team Up, which is 146 Spider Man and Nomad versus the Taskmaster. What? Well, that's fun. That's going to be fun. Yes. And Amazing Spider Man 258 and 259 <gasps> featuring the truth about the, the costume. Finally. Ugh. Finally. Finally, uh, in the last, in the in the last Ron friends, uh, the last of my little Ron friends conversation. Next episode too. So enjoy, Finally, enjoy this episode and next. How dare you? <laughs> I can. And don't forget if you want to hear the whole full interview without having to listen to us, be sure to head over to YouTube. Well, without having to listen to Lilith, yeah, go over to YouTube. <laughs> Try to make you listen to all this, Lilith. You know it's Marvel, so my eyes are secretly glazed over the whole time. <laughs> you know, it's just me and Ron friends. No love. I've always assumed everything. Not right now. Not without supervision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not without supervision. That's perfect. <laughs> so, that anyway. describes us. <laughs> so, well, I mean, I was over there without you. But anyway, uh, yes, email us your thoughts on this the issues this episode or the next uh email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com call the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38 capes and remember to follow spider cast and capes and lunatics all of our shows on facebook twitter uh we have some on instagram follow the youtube channel follow everything all in one convenient place that's linktree l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash capes and lunatics and remember to support the sponsors tweaked audio hunt to killer pod life the book now in digital and paperback and when you do all your shopping these days because nothing's open uh use the amazon link for southgate media group right down there in the show notes and send what? Nothing's open. Walmart would like to have it working. I know, I know. But uh but hey, don't forget them. Send some money to uh Master Doom, Rob Southgate, and the company because none of these shows are free. As Lil says, bandwidth costs money. Go back and look at my history. I get so much right. And you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. Mark my words. <laughs> Lil of Hellfire. Hello. Penises. No, no, no. We're gonna mention penises. It has to be dong is a medical term. We talked about this. Dong is a medical term. Dong is a medical term. Fight me, nerd. Fight me, nerd. Nobody tell Rob. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it'll be our little secret, kids. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Again, stay tuned after the flip for more of my conversation with Mr. Ron Friends. I'm back next time for the truth of the alien costume. I will wrap up the alien costume all day. Act 111, number one. But until then, swing on back. <laughs>